Hi, everybody. On time at the top of the hour. And it's me, Francesca Fiorentini. Surprise for everyone that was waiting for Simone Milaza. So we had a change plan. And I'm so grateful to break the ice of these 10 amazing days of exponentializing with myself and other nine amazing facilitators. That, well, this idea actually came up when we were in a meeting myself and Katrina, myself, Katrina Valentine and Simone Milazas, and we were looking, what else can we add for Europe? What else can we add, right? Like, and that was the question. And Simone came, I think Simone was the one coming up, coming up with um, um, uh, the name exponentializing. I had just hearing about this word, we were all excited. And then that started. And actually exponentializing, it's really like accelerating um, at a phenomenal velocity. So what would it take for all of us to really like embrace a phenomenal living beyond whatever we ever imagined before? As you probably know, and you have been noticing, um, during this period of COVID-19 and things have been changing a lot. Hi, Paula. Hi. Hi, hi. So, and by the way, if you wanna, that I see your, who are you when you comment? In a way, you need to um, register in StreamYard. It's all on the top of the video, should be. And um, good to see you too. So, what I was at? Um, well, now I got distracted. So, yeah, during this period of COVID-19, right? Like, things have been changing dramatically for everyone. And I say dramatic is not because it's been bad, but just like in a way that no one actually were expected. And how many of you actually had an awareness of the future about this period when things weren't clear for you? When you were looking at the future of these months they were living now and things were not really reading for you? For me, it happened. There's been like a moment where um, I'm the worldwide coordinator of access consciousness. I work a lot with the schedule and all the event of Gary and Dan, Simona Brandon and more other things. And there's been like events and uh, hi, Laura. And uh, there's been like event during this month that we are living now that we were planning that we didn't really have a clear uh, sense as we usually do. And so most of it sometimes I actually was doubting myself. I'm like, what why I done? Why I don't really perceive um what is required? And you know better than me, the why is not really a question that you should ask when things are not very clear for you. Because the universe what is going to give you just <laughs> the judgment of the right, the, the why that you're asking. So and this COVID-19 period has been such a gift for me. And as I heard, it's been such a gift for um, so many other people that I know. And as we, if you have been here listening to latest telecall or um, video of Dr. Dane here or Simone Milazzo and a lot of other amazing facilitators, um, after the Global Foundation that happened in February, uh, facilitated by Gary Douglas and Dr. Dane here, we changed tracks. And at the beginning when we were saying that, wasn't really super clear. What does it mean that the past doesn't longer exist? Because what does it really mean when you change tracks, right? You are like in, in a track, like in a train, and then suddenly you're just like whoop, going in another one. And so whatever was before, is not even longer existing. It's not even longer a reality. It's not even longer relevant. So what a gift of freedom to actually be able to create your future, not based on what you were referring to the past, but what you really desire to create. And I know guys, thank you. And I know guys, like most of the time when someone might ask you, what would you like to create in your future? And what is your desire? Those are probably the most challenging questions because how many times you have actually been really willing to look at what you desire? Did you ever allow yourself to be the space for you to perceive what change 
what you decide to create in this world, what your life you would like to look like. Hi, Elena. Personally, to me, it took quite long to get into that space of being me, the priority of my life. And that doesn't mean to exclude anyone else at all. It's like, it's like now I wanna thank for the billions times, it's not never enough, Dr. Deng here for his amazing book, The Being You Book. The, that's been the book that actually really saved my life because I was in a moment of my life that I wasn't enjoying it anymore. And I was telling myself, if the things are keep going like they are, I'm not sure when I still live in this planet. And I had my beautiful daughter. So she was the one probably keep me uh, looking for something different, but actually was mainly me. So why I want to thank Dr. Dane here, because that was the first time really in my life that when I was hearing to his uh, audiobook, because I don't know if you ever if you ever heard me talking it, but in 2012, I didn't even have a credit card. And for me, spending the $35 for that book was really a little bit of a challenge. I didn't know who to ask. And I am aware that I was using money as an excuse to not create my life. Because if I if I had to provide money for my family, for my daughter, for anything else anyone else around me, the money was so fast to show up. But when it was regarding to my personal desire, that was a little bit challenging. So when I was listening to the audio book, few chapter for free that if you sign up on uh, beingyouchangingword.com, you could receive it. I was, for the first time in my life, I was hearing a friend that I never met in person, but I knew what he was telling was, was true for me. He was actually really telling me that I could choose for me. So how many times you have been really looking at, if you choose for you today, what would it be? What if you start asking this question daily, what would that be? It's a scary, huh? to look at ourself as the priority in our life. But this is one of the main elements to create, to exponentialize your life, your living, your future. Because if you don't, if you don't really look at what is true for you, and no matter what other people say, because we are, one of the most amazing things that are in this planet, it's really the difference that everyone is. And when you look at the, the, the beautiful difference that everyone is, there is no judgment. There is no matter of who is right, who is wrong, what is the right way to, to create, what is the right way to dress. doesn't matter. We are all different. That's actually um, um, what, I mean, for me personally, actually gave me so much freedom and so much... Um, how would I say? It's like having a six gear in a car to create even greater. There was it was the what I thought I could could create. Um, see, I'm choosing peace, fun, and abundance. Love it. And what else? What what if we could really choose anything? What would that be? What if there is no limitation? What if there is just a a, a future that you are the one creating it today. And for years, I've been hearing Gary Douglas saying, uh, you, you don't create your future based on the past. Your future will be created on the choices that you make now. Now, at this time of life, that quote, make even more sense to me. And hopefully for you too, guys. And if it doesn't, just think about it. Because really, like, I think I, I gave the title of this um, StreamYard, Being the Creator of Your Life and Future. Because one of the things I, I embrace constantly uh, using the Access Consciousness tool, 
was literally um, acknowledging and that whatever I choose and I ask for it, it will actualize. And most of the time, whatever I ask for it has been always showing up in a such a different way. I remember when I start access consciousness and um, I collect, you know, in a couple of months, some money to finally attend a bars class. And then after that, I was doing like a sort of a weekly swap, one of my friends. And every time we were starting the session, she was asking me, if you could have anything from this session, what would that be? And one day I say this out loud and I say, you know what? I'd like to travel the world, change people's life and make money. And when I, when I found myself a few years later, jumping from one plane to the other, going and visiting one city after the other, after the other and creating the, the events for access consciousness, I didn't know that that's what I desire when I asked the question. I didn't know. Because you don't have to figure it out what that is. You don't have to figure it out what the exponentializing of your life will that be. But there is an energy that when you ask, and sometimes you don't even have words for it, but there is an energy that based on the ask that you make, it will show up and it doesn't have to have a certain color or a certain image or a certain face, you know, it's a matter of like, it's a matter of you recognizing that energy a following and keep asking and keep choosing. And, um, oh, I don't see your names you're doing because I see Facebook user. Thank you guys so much. Thank you so much. And what if, um, being also the creator of your own life and of your own future means being also the leader of your own life. And that's actually another, another point where we can embrace so much freedom. To say something more about it, it's the matter of when you are the creator of your own life and your future, there is no one else that can control you. There is no one else that can limit you. There is no one else that can stop you. The only one that can stop you, limit your control is you, just so you know. So it's a matter as well that if something's showing up in your life that you might not really have asked for it or you don't really, you, you don't appreciate it so much. What if you look at with such a, a space of freedom and say, if this actually show up, First of all, nothing actually show up in your life. In a way or in the other, you chose it. And look at that. If I chose it, it means that I actually can change it because there is no one else that actually um, imposed that to me. And those has been like the fundamental um, tools to me for me to look at of every single thing that was that I created, that if I don't like it, I can change it. And if I like it, I can exponentialize it, right? So, and we go back on one of the main topic for me as well, looking at, at the right and the wrong. What if we could really get out of the right and wrong choice? And every, really every choice you make is just a, is just, a matter for you to have more awareness. Let's see what Elena say. Interesting what you're saying, Francesca, about your creation and living. As for me, since I have met you, 2014, you are wealthy and free of choosing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's funny how, thank you for saying that, because at the same time, what if, like, anyone else that we look at could be an inspiration, right? But what if we don't have to compare ourselves to anyone else? That was one of the gifts that was for me as well, 
that I was admiring so many people for what they were choosing. They were such an inspiration. I had, how did I get so lucky to meet you all and have Simone, Gary, Dane, Brendan, uh, Katerina, all the other facilitators coming in. I, I, I could not name them. I will stay here for a couple of hours to name everyone. And of course I will forget someone. But it's really like, because when you compare yourself with others, that's actually start. It's actually block your creation. But if you take as an inspiration everyone around you, and then you choose what is what is what is actually right for you, what actually is fun for you. And lately, Dane, Dr. Dane here, and if you didn't get it, please do it. It's on the shop. He this, this, and I think the third call should, should be in a few days. But one of the three latest calls he did, it was really like about gratitude. Whew, I already listened to that call, I think, three times. And I personally thought that there was someone that knew something about gratitude. Because gratitude has always been my best friend. The fact of being grateful for everything and everyone around me. Uh, when I really um, start using the tool of like style, like um, one of the five elements of intimacy, the gratitude, and I really got the value of the five element and the, the gratitude especially, I had peace with my family. I start have peace with my ex-husband. I start at peace with people that actually treat me badly. And um, I, and this has been exponentializing during the years. Never stop. So I thought there was someone that knew something about gratitude. But actually, after the call that Dr. Dean Deere did, I could perceive that he has been able to open different doors about gratitude and looking at it from a, such a different, from a such a different way, perspective. And he's saying in the call, I dare you to write 1,000 things you are grateful for. And please be aware that it's easy to be grateful for the, all the goods, right? All the nice things coming up. But what if you really are willing to be grateful for anything? Gratitude, it's really the energy that creates your future. And um, and I want to uh, heard about 1,000. Um, Hi, Laura. Thank you. And uh, and uh, when I heard about the 1,000, I'm like, Jesus, shall I really write them? Can I record them? <laughs> you can do it whatever you want. It's just a matter of when you put your attention and your energy on something, things are already changing. And, um, and uh, um, I remember like several, I mean, my life before access or after access, like, I probably, I am more on me now than what I was before, but I was more, in the past, I was more struggling to actually get other people to understand what I knew was possible. And, um, and uh, now with the Access Consciousness tool, there is also that allowance. There's another element, then it's another of the five elements of intimacy, actually being so much allowance of whatever other people are choosing. And if you don't have any point of view about what other people are choosing and forcing them to come with you and to create your future, what if you don't have to? What if you really can, you can be the interesting point of view and be an allowance of everything and anything? Because when you don't have point of view about what other people have to choose, normally they will always choose greater. Because if you have a point of view of what people have to choose, they all will always choose less. And this is also one of the elements that allow you to exponentialize your living and your future. I want to read the comments. What did they say? Elena, you are very correct about the competing, the others. It never works. And in the acknowledging of what you are. Thank you. And that's true because like comparing with others, not competing. It's also because comparing, competing, you always need to look at something that, you know, you are right on it. 
what if one of the, the amazing thing, and I always think that I am like a kid, you know, the adage of a kid. For me, uh, everything is beautiful, <laughs> even if I have my intense days as well, you know, and I enjoy them too. Because, um, like, there is so much more energy that we have to uh, put into the fact that, you know, we need to compare with someone else. So, well, just just for something came up to me as well. Like, I've been working a lot. Well, I started in Access. Someone, people ask me, what did you do now? How did you start? How did you become the Worldwide Coordinator? Well, I never actually asked to become the Worldwide Coordinator. Um, and, of course, like, nothing happened to you. You create it. I'm sure I create it, too. And thanks to so many other amazing people that trust on me. And actually, um, they saw on me something that my, they actually acknowledge the difference I am, as I, we were talking before, because all of us have the special speciality of us is really the difference we be. Difference doesn't really have any judgment, right? It's just like a matter of your your capacity and your superpower is your difference. And uh, hello, Samantha. And um, so. I started that I actually was doing the bookshop and then I started to, I don't know, someone probably noticed me because they told me you were folding blanket in a class and you were helping without anyone asking you why, like uh, to help. And um, most of the time when they asked me to do something uh, more, I didn't know what how to do it. I didn't know. The first time I did a registration a long time ago because they asked me, we need someone speak Italian and this, this and this. I didn't really have even a Gmail account. And it was so funny because for me, there was the energy that I was talking before. There was the energy of the future that I desired to create and everything was possible. And I'm like, okay, like a kid, okay, I can do it. And, uh, and I... Probably what I was saying every time they asked me to do something, I didn't really have all the answer, but I was willing to be and do anything. How many times you guys are willing to be and do anything without complaining and being grateful for what you have been asking for? So everything there is, everything that brings up for all of you, will you destroy and create? Right, wrong, good and back, pop, bottle, nine shop, boys and beyonds. And... It's really like that. So it's so funny talking with yourself. Now I have 90 I'm not talking with myself, I know, but it's the first time I'm doing such a long Facebook Live. And I'm very grateful for all of you watching it. And all the translator, by the way, because we have, and I, all the translator, they're actually translating this and putting in the different Facebook group from today and also for the other nine days following nine days and all the people actually help us to create this for you guys and we don't know what this will create but we had this this creation had an energy of a future that matches with what we desire so let's see what will show up right <laughs> yeah now everyone want to do the bookshop right <laughs> But it's also that everywhere we've been stuck in there doing a thing will actually bring you there because for me, was it? Simone Milaza talk all the time that she started doing the, the audio. Uh, she was recording an audio in classes. Dr. Dane here was as well. It doesn't really like what actually, what do you know that if you allow to know it will actually um, actualize what you really desire? Because how many times we avoid to ask ourselves, what do we know? What do you know that will create a future you desire? And you might not have an answer right away. A question is not based on having an answer right away. It's actually asking for more information. And every time you ask a question, there is a doors of possibility that open up. And when you ask, 
at the same time, there is also that in more information coming and also the willingness to receive the information and then um, look at that received information because you ask and receive, they are actually going along together. How can you create your future and your living? If you're receiving, it's not very open. And that, that as well, it's something that we can train daily ourselves to exponentialize. So what if? So what energy, space, consciousness, choice, miracle, magic, and possibility can we and our bodies be to exponentialize our ask, our receiving, our perceiving? and our knowing and our being for all the eternity. And everything that doesn't allow that, we need to strain and create. Right, wrong, good and bad, pock, pot, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. Look, Elena is, is, is translating in Bulgarian. Thank you so much, Elena. So funny because Elena, exactly, I met you in um, New Zealand for the first time. It was 2014 and you are original from Bulgaria and we met in New Zealand and it was such a long flight for me. It was the was the was one of the classes that I chose that really exponentialized my future. And I remember that for me going on a seven days event was quite a huge effort economically and you know leaving my daughter for more than 10 days and really choosing for me. And um and that was the first time that I actually had a little bit of more money, that I earned a little bit of more money. And there was a choice. Do I go in New Zealand for a seven days? Or do I or do I invest those money maybe in a renting apartment? Because me and my daughter were still living in my at my mom's house. And I remember I asked question, and of course, like if I'm choosing to go, what will be my life in five years, ten years, hundred years? And the answer was so clear. I she, I, could, I didn't have, even have to ask, but I really desired to have uh, more um, approval, basically. And I remember we were in a big event in Venice, and I started asking everyone, what do you guys, should I go, should I not go? And then I stopped, oh, I talked with Stephen Bowmans. If you don't know him, I think you do, anyway. Chutista and Stephen are two amazing people, person, creators, like writers and speakers and such amazing friends. And I remember Stephen told me, you know, Francesca, in the future, when you will be in a stage facilitating a class, I will be on a little corner watching and listening to you. What the, what is this the future you desire? And at that time, it didn't really make any sense to me, but the, he actually had this such a warm energy, like a father, that probably was the permission that I desired, that, that I was asking for. So I pay my ticket, I pay the class, I travel for 30 and more hours to go to the chateau the, where we had the class. And it's really from that class after, like there's been such a growth and exponent, like it really it, it's exponentialized my life so much. Simone Milaza asked me to, be, to work for her with air in the joy of business team and all these little things that if I wouldn't chose it, I will not be where I am now. So what do you know? What choice can you make that will create the future you desire? And I never ask to be where I am now. There was always an energy that I was following. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. And I don't see your name. I see like Facebook user. That's cool. So we are almost 30 minutes. I hope you had fun. I did have so much fun. Um, and um, please share this with your friends, inviting them here if did you like that. Tomorrow we have another amazing facilitator, I think it's Susanna Mittermeier. And then following, you will see all this amazing, you know, we have David Kubes, Kalpana, Katerina, Diva, uh, Lisa, Simone, Shannon O'Hara, and Brenda Watt. 
So how much fun can we all have together? Thank you so, so much. Ciao. Bye.